From the Opera House, where the United Nations organization came into being, President Truman makes a dramatic speech within a few days of its fifth anniversary. In San Francisco, five years ago, we hoped that the Soviet Union would cooperate in this effort to build a lasting peace. But communist imperialism would not have it so. The free men of the world have but one choice if they are to remain free. They must oppose strength with strength. <laughs> if the Soviet Union really wants peace, it can prove it and could have proved it on any day since last June 25th by joining the rest of the United Nations in calling upon the North Koreans to lay down their arms at once. <laughs> if the Soviet Union really wants peace, it can prove it by lifting the Iron Curtain and permitting the free exchange of information and ideas. If the Soviet Union really wants peace, it can prove it by joining in the efforts of the United Nations to establish a workable system of collective security, a system which will permit the elimination of the atomic bomb and the drastic reduction of regulation of all other arms and armed forces. <laughs>